this tale may appear a much a mystery to you as it is to me. Nevertheless, are we not in mysterious times and a delicate subject? Fact or fiction? Perhaps a mixture of both. Fact. Rory lived and worked in the Chiviot Hills. Witness the ruins of what once was a full-blooded whiskey still in business. Rory, that must have been his first name. The rest, well, it's up to you. There's no doubt his existence left many sore heads among those who choose to wonder. Weary as the wolves, making ends mute, picking devils in the midden. Be a liar and a cheat, be wary of the man, a gale to be born, to meddle with a kettle in the John Barley corn. After filling the kettle with the wash, the cap must be sealed. A pierced of oatmeal forms a safety catch. It's better than getting your heat blown off. The art of brewing can only be measured by the quality of the brew. The sweetness of the grain, mellowed with the yeast, hangs in the air. A steady, proven supply of barley is most essential. Now the John Barley cones, the devils he brew, mixed in the mash with the sweet heather dew, bland through the kettle, Nick sad sang, cheers to the devil and the excise man. Rory Charlton. The wise man of the Rothbury Hills and master distiller. Catch a fresh breath of country air. The rank tang of bracken mingles with the sweet scent of moorland tame. It must be heaven on earth compared with the peat reek, the sickly stench of molten grain and these stinking mates. It takes steel nerves and a clear head to dodge wild Willy Rayleigh, the grand duke of all excise men and damned clever with it. He may lift and shift rarely one day, but ifs and ands are just still pots and pans. <laughs> <laughs> 